Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. I want to make a quick note here. I am doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway with, for this saw. So once I get to 1,000 subscribers, I will at random pick a person out of those 1,000 subscribers and send this saw to them. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. There is another video on my channel as well with some more information on this. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on this Toro 22 inch recycler. Now, I live in Florida currently, and as you can see by my, my YouTube name, uh, mainly small engine DIY, uh, there's a main reference there. So my girlfriend and I, after many years of living here, personally for me, 38 years of living in Florida, uh, we are moving to Maine. And one of the things we have to do is take our possessions with us to Maine. This is going with me. Also, on a separate note, I would like to introduce right here. This is uh, the shop supervisor, Miley. This is uh, our best friend, and she is a Catahoula leopard dog, a rescue. She comes out and chills out in the shop every once in a while. She just happened to be out here today, so thought I would introduce my my viewers to her um she's a great dog and loves to be involved with things loves people so i'll get a little close up of her in a second but catahoula leopard dog where we think she's a purebred we're not exactly sure but so anyways there's a little bit of personal stuff about me and today what we're going to be doing with this uh briggs and stratton uh recyc toro recycler is we're going to be removing the fluid from this and i just did a, a video also on a uh a fluid extractor we're going to be testing that out on this as well so this is a little close-up on miley she's about seven years old we think ah, sit in your bed go to your bed lay down we think she's about six or seven years old no one knows for sure but she is a, a really good dog and um yeah anyways that's a little something personal about me you'll probably see her in my videos from time to time and she is about to make a move to maine as well and she will probably be very cold there, and she gets a treat for supervising. And on to the oil extraction, fluid extraction of this mower. So hopefully this is going to be pretty short and sweet. I already have this right here. I changed the oil in my car today as well. I'm going to post a quick video on that as well. Um, so I've already got a place to put the oil when I, when I pump it out of here, and then I'm going to properly dispose of it but as far as the gas of this goes so long story short the moving company says hey you can take this mower with you but you cannot have any fluids inside of it okay um so i mean there's going to be a little bit of oil residue i'm sure but i ran the motor until the gas was gone so that was the easy way of doing that of course you can't do that with the oil so we're just going to go ahead and take the oil off the oil cap off Put that to the side and then i'm going to use this omt fluid extractor now i've also posted a video review of this just testing it with some water before i actually got into doing oil i wanted to make sure it wasn't going to leak or anything seems to be fine it has a little closure on the uh, for the cap right there i am going to move this up here so it does not fall into this tank and hopefully this reaches to the bottom of this. It does. So I'm going to get that all the way to the bottom. And go ahead and start sucking the oil out of this thing. Oh, I, w I wasn't prepared. I did not have my can open here. Either way, no problem. I don't think I got a single drop anywhere by doing that. And I'm just going to slowly shove this back down. And it's going to pump all the oil right back into this bin. 
It's canister. Now the reason I got this is I know you can tip these things over to extract the oil from them. Uh, that is not a pleasant experience at all. It's a mess. I don't feel like screwing around with that. And honestly, even if it only lasts for a few years and I get through 10 oil changes or something, not having to tip this thing over and go through that is totally worth it to me. So that feels like a good bit of it right there. A little bit more right there. And I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is pump that out. I will put this to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and put a block under here of some kind and tip it up a little bit so that all of the oil runs to this side of it. This might be a little bit of overkill, but I'm just gonna try lifting up on here. Wedge that gas or that uh, that paint can underneath there. Now it's tipped up on its side. Hopefully all the oil runs over to here. I mean, common sense would tell you it would. And I'll go ahead and get this back in and take one more plunge out of there with it. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, that worked good. You just have to push kind of hard on this and it's not super fast or anything. It's the oil is very viscous. And I'll try for one or two more pumps in here, get it really down in there. And uh, that is pretty much it right there. I feel pretty good with that. Of course, I'm not gonna get every, every ounce of oil out of here, nor would you if you tip this thing over, I guarantee you that. But I think that's gonna be sufficient. I'm gonna go ahead and place this cap right here. I'll put the lid back on my oil collection. I'm just going to go ahead and take this apart, clean it with some soap and water. That's exactly what the instructions tell you to do pretty much. And uh, yeah, um, this thing worked fantastic. Go ahead and lower this mower back down. And uh, one final step here, highly recommended. Go ahead and Put this tape on here. Right exactly where I'm going to see it. Fill with oil before use. Do not want to accidentally run this thing without oil and blow it up. Uh, this is exactly where my hands are going to be. You can do it however you want. You can tape over this thing, put a lock on it, do whatever you want to it. But yeah, just make sure that you don't run this thing without oil in it. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it saved you some time, saved you some money, saved you some headache, all that kind of stuff. And hopefully uh, you watch this before you end up with oil all over your yard or in your garage or whatever the case is. Anyways. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks from me and from the supervisor, Miley. Have a great day.